Hey beautiful souls, thank you so much for being here and welcome. My name is Danielle. So today's pick a card reading, we're going to take a look at your person's true intentions towards you. We'll get some channeled messages from them. And of course, I will be using the astrology dice and initial tiles towards the end of each group for extra confirmation. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, there's a few of them linked at the top of my description box. You don't, you can also visit my website, which is linked pretty much everywhere on my channel. Um, even in the banner, there's like a little doohickey icon thing that you can click on. Um, also, for those of you that were around yesterday for um, my announcement with partnering again with Rose Forever, um, Rose Forever reached out and is offering my beautiful subscribers or viewers um, a discount when you click on my link, which is in the description box, and use the code that I am providing underneath that link. So. Yeah, definitely um, check that out if you are interested in purchasing some beautiful roses for yourself. They have so many colors and so many like beautiful uh, vegan suede and velvet boxes to choose from. Um, yeah, so without further ado, let's let's dive into your decks. All right, so group one, you have this gentle heart tarot you know what i can't r remember for the life of me for the longest time i i think i was calling this a venturing it's not a venturing um can't remember but it says trust it's like a greenish color as you can see uh group two you have the star child tarot with this stone here it says serenity uh with this stone uh, I know this one is how light. <laughs> this one's actually my newest edition. Um, it's perfect for anyone whose name is Serenity. That might be a sign for you that it's your group. Group three. Yes, I am using this deck again. Uh, my newest deck, the Dog Tarot. I'm trying to get used to everything there. And we have this Rose Quartz and it says Desire. All right, so timestamps are listed in the middle of the description box as well as pinned in the comment section. And I will see you lovelies at your reading. Hey, group one, you chose the Gentle Heart Tarot with the stone that says trust. Welcome. All right, let's dive in and see what is going on, how they're feeling. I split on the lovers and Ace of Crystals reverse. So... I'm not taking reversals, but it is reverse, so I feel like a lack of communication, a lack of movement between the two of you. That could be the theme starting out, but of course, we'll get a little more info. We're starting out with the Six of Swords. Should move that down a little bit so you can see. King of Swords. The Fool, we have Aquarius. It's, uh, strong air energy coming through. Five of Cups. What else? Four of Crystals. For those of you that um, aren't around very often, or maybe you're new to the channel, um, you're new to this deck, the Crystals in this deck is actually the Wands. With the Queen of Crystals. And we have the Ace of Cups. On the bottom here, we have Strength with Leo. Okay, so...
I feel like in this connect, this I'm feeling is a newer connection. I feel like there feels like a little bit of distance. Someone here is like really in their thoughts when it comes to this connection. It could be a little bit of both of you. Um, All right, let's see. Actually, yeah. I want to clarify the Seven of Swords because that is really sticking out to me before I go any further. All right, we have the Seven of Swords here with the Ten of Wands. All right, so someone in this connection, which I feel, well, it could be either of you, but I'm getting like having a rough time um, holding on to some information. Nine of Cups. Okay, so I feel like this is happy news. Um, yeah, this is this is a good thing I feel with the Nine of Cups. So sometimes we can see the Seven of Swords as like deceit, lying, being secretive. But I feel like your person right now, or you, and this could be you if you're resonating, um, it's kind of like received something, some sort of news, or has like some sort of information that feels really good that is like something that you were hoping for, feeling really excited, um, kind of like a wish fulfillment here. And it's like getting harder and harder to keep secret and hold on. This may even be like the two of you, given that this feels like a newer connection. Um, I feel like the two of you are overall like quite, for the most part, happy with this connection. Um, and it could be that the two of you are keeping it um, hush right now. Like you're not, you're not saying much about this connection because it is new. Maybe you don't want um, other, you know, outside influences. Whatever, whatever the case is here. So I feel like you guys are kind of secretly seeing each other. But I want to see why is the Five of Cups here? Why is the Five of Cups here? One card. Okay, Ace of Crystals with the Ace of Wands. Clarify further. The Four of Cups. There's regrets about an offer. So it may have taken some time for the two of you to actually um, start dating. It could have been, you know, right person, wrong time sort of um, situation here. Um, someone or both of you in this connection may have been going through something in the past that it just wasn't right for the two of you. So one of you had to decline the offer to go on a date um, or, you know, get to know each other on a deeper level. But I feel like you guys are actually seeing each other or to the point where you're, some of you are secretly dating this person. Clarify Six of Swords. Three of Cups. Okay, so yeah, this definitely feels like moving out of the friend zone um, or, you know, having fun getting to know each other. I feel like it's transitioned 
into something else. I feel like definitely you guys are in a, moving into a pretty good place right now. And I feel like this is why you want to keep this connection, this uh, relationship to yourselves. Uh, a wedding may be involved. Now, this could be you're attending a wedding or someone someone is getting married. Not necessarily that one of you guys is getting married and you're secretly seeing each other. I'm not getting that, but I feel like um, I'm getting wedding for somebody. Okay, so how is this person feeling about my group ones right now? At this moment, with the Four of Swords, Two of Cups. Okay, so they're not saying much. They're feeling quite relaxed. Um, Ace of Diamonds. Nine of Swords. Okay, so... Why are they stressing out this? When it comes to you, it feels quite, quite um, beautiful with the Two of Cups and the Ace of Diamonds, but they're, feel like they're overthinking this connection because we did get a lot of swords in the beginning. So strong, like mental energy in this connection. This could be you also overthinking. Maybe you're both doing a little bit of overthinking when it comes to where this connection is going, what... Um, your person's intentions are, which obviously that's maybe why you're here today. So why is the nine of swords here? King of crystals. Stressing about taking some kind of action, um, really, you know, taking control Taking the reins. Why is the Ace of Diamonds here? Ten of Cups. Okay. So it feels like your person's deep down um, hopeful for this connection to go like they see the potential and I believe like um like I said with wedding around there may be a lot of love and you know relationships romance surrounding the two of you right now and this could be why this is on your person's mind commitment um but yeah it feels like they need to take like some sort of action like step up and make something happen here in this connection all right, so let's see. What are their intentions with my group ones? What are their intentions? Okay. We have Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius. Eight of Diamonds. The High Priestess. We have Pisces. Page of Crystals. Two of Diamonds. Knight of Swords, the Hermit, Virgo, Nine of Crystals. All right. What's the Wheel of Fortune here? Three of Crystals. Okay, so your person does see the potential for a future um, with you. However that looks, we did see the Ten of Cups, which talks about, you know, ultimate emotional fulfillment. Uh, it could talk about family, commitments, um, a long-term relationship doesn't have to, if that's not your thing. I do tend to view the Ten of Cups as... Um, a commitment, but I also see it as living life to the fullest, 
So, you know, take it to fit your dynamic. If you're not interested in marriage, that is okay. Um, but yeah, there's definitely like, they see something long-term here with you. Um, okay. They have been doing a lot of thinking. And I feel like they're really needing to, like, they, if they have withdrawn uh, from you, maybe they're a little bit quieter. I feel like they, for some of you, they may have actually told you this, that they need to do a little soul searching, a little thinking right now. Um, that's because they're trying to figure out, like, they're trying to ease their mind. They're trying to uh, navigate all their thoughts. I do see that your person is actually pretty excited when it comes to um, this connection. I also feel like for some of you, this this may have been, it may have been a while um, since their last relationship. With this nine of crystals here. So... I do see that your person intends to put in some sort of um, work when it comes to this relationship. They're definitely trying to get their priorities priorities in order here. But let's see. Okay, why is the Nine of Crystals here? Eight of Crystals. Okay, yeah, they're ready to move forward with you. Six of cups on the bottom here. So there is this beautiful feeling. Um, I feel like they're actually honestly looking for their soulmate. I do see six of cups as like a soulmate card. Why is the high priestess here? Knight of Wands. Oh yeah, their intuition is like um, guiding them to just go with it. You know, release fears. I know I said I'm not taking reversals, but I flipped it over. Uh, just turned over the deck here. We have the Devil Reverse. Yeah, you know, let go of their fears. Let go of their anxiety and, you know, just dive in. Uh, I feel like your person's not wanting to be too impulsive, obviously. But, you know... Um, their intentions are to still have fun and enjoy this connection while also seeing where it takes you because they do see that you could possibly be the one. Why is Hermit here? The Lovers, Gemini. Yeah, they're looking for the one. So they're wondering here, is group one, are you the one? And I feel like they're getting a little bit nervous, but also excited. And they know that, I feel like they're very serious here with the eight of diamonds and the two of diamonds. Like they're ready to put in, like I said, you know, taking that action. Like they know that they need to step up and take action here. And, um, put in the dedication, put in, in the work, even when it's a challenge, even, you know, make time for each other, even when your schedules are busy, still find time to, um, n nurture the connection, nurture the relationship. So it feels like they do have good intentions towards you in this connection. They have high hopes for the f for the future. And of course, you know, it's normal to have anxiety. So I feel like it's nothing out of the normal for them. We have success. Self-worth. Okay, so I feel like you guys have been doing, you and this person have been doing 
um, some work on, you know, your self-esteem, your self-worth. And I do see that overall, um, there will be success, whether that's within yourself or in this connection. I do see that both of you, you and this person, are in a pretty good place. Um, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and I feel like there's been a lot of healing in this connection as well, like individually before meeting each other, before coming together, and also the potential to grow together as well, because this feels like, um, it does feel like a more mature connection. No, <laughs> don't get me wrong. You can have fun in a mature connection. It's not like all serious, but it definitely feels, uh, it feels good. All right. So let's get some messages and see what they would like to say. Just going to quickly pause and I will be right back. All right. Let's see what they would like to say to you. I know one flipped over already. I'm trying to do the right thing. The thought of reaching out to you gives me anxiety. I'm scared to get close. So that could have been something that they needed to work on um, before coming into this connection. I miss you so much. So you could be at a little bit of a distant right, distance right now. Um, I'm also getting for some of you, like going back to this nine of crystals and the eight of crystals, this could be a long distance relationship, you know, putting in that effort to make it work, right? So, and this is them missing you. You jump, I jump. So it feels like they're all in with you. They see you as a beautiful angel. I stay away because you told me to. Okay, so it feels like someone in this connection needs a little bit of a break to figure things out. I want to spoil you. I am so unbelievably proud of you. So if you've been doing a lot of work on yourself, your person wants you to know that they're very proud. Or if you know you've reached, you received some news or reached a goal, they're proud of you. Can we please move on from the past? So for some of you, something... In, happened in the past with this connection can we just lay in bed and cuddle I want to cuddle you hold you close uh, the first date is very significant are you still mad at me I keep seeing your name everywhere I can't imagine life without you and I don't even want to so yeah they're feeling pretty close to you we have text message phone call so they're looking forward to the next time they speak to you. I want to see what is this, trying to do the right thing. Clarify, I'm trying to do the right thing. Seven of Cups. Okay, there's confusion here. Death. Okay, so they're needing to put an end to something in their life. And it is um, causing a lot of confusion. It may have, like, they may have taken a step back to figure out what to do. Uh, we do have Scorpio energy here. and But in the meantime, they're wanting you to know that they miss you. The Empress. We also have Taurus and Libra. Okay. I do see them stepping into their power with the Empress here. 
whatever decision that they're wanting to make, they are um, tapping into the feminine energy. Um, doesn't matter their gender. And approaching the situation, this um, this ending, this transition period with compassion, with grace. So something is ending, obviously. I just said that. <laughs> okay. Let's clarify. Can we please move on from the past? What's this? King of Diamonds. Seven of, seven of Diamonds. Okay. They may have kept you waiting in the past. You know, promising you um, certain things and leaving you waiting, which I guess in a way would be like breadcrumbing yeah three of swords so yeah they've hurt you so the waiting has really affected you in the past and I feel like with the king of pentacles here they're letting you know that they have grown they're not the same person as they were in the past so um in order to move forward, for those of you that have some sort of history with this person, um, they're letting you know that, you know, they do hope for a future with you, but if they're being, it's just like the same for you. If they, if they keep holding you, you know, talking about what happened, you know, what you did to each other in the past that caused a lot of hurt and pain. Yes, it is important to have a conversation um so if a conversation needs to be had then you know i feel like that would be a great opportunity for the two of you to hash out what had ha what had happened um how it affected you and then move on like move forward um so for those of you that maybe are still holding on to something a little painful from the past um what this is saying is that if you're hoping for a future with this person, like a a happy, successful relationship with them, it's going to take releasing what has happened in the past between the two of you. And that's the same, that, that goes for them too. So if they're holding you, um, you know, still bringing up some things that maybe you did in the past or things that you said in the past and wanting a future with you, they need to address that, you know, maybe go within and figure out why it's still bothering them and, you know, move forward, right? So it's not just one-sided here. It goes both ways. It takes two people. So, yeah. Um, and again, you, you guys, like if there's something really bothering you that happened between the two of you in the past, yet you still want a future with them, there's, I feel like there's something there that needs to be addressed, something within for you to take a look at, um, so that you can heal it, release it, and move forward and have that beautiful, fresh start that you're looking for. All right, so there's that, and let's see our zodiac signs. And I love that we have the trust um, stone here because relationships need a foundation of trust. Trust is very important. Okay, so we have Aquarius. Oh, yeah, and I'm just noticing this, too. Are you still mad at me? So if you're still holding, like, if you're still angry at them. Um, now, if it's a fresh wound, obviously, it's understandable. Um, but, like, if this has been going on for quite some time and you just can't seem to let go, I would say, you know, maybe talk to somebody or... Um, receive some support. But, yeah, definitely... It's going to take releasing, releasing the pain and healing for you to move on so that you can, again, have that beautiful relationship with each other. We have 12th house, uh, Pisces. 
we have Libra and ninth house Sagittarius. a lot of O's. <laughs> Someone has a lot of O's in their name. We have V, G, I, T, U, A, A, <laughs> R, Ava, Olivia, Oliver, T, S, L, M, Slime. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why Slime is there. Um, I'm also seeing Slimer. So like um, Ghostbusters. We also, okay, <laughs> hear me out. <laughs> this crystal is like, you know, you know the color of slime. <laughs> I apologize if you're, you know, you're eating. <laughs> hopefully you're not. And hopefully you have a strong stomach. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have a blank tile as well. GM, so that's like a um, motor company. That's a vehicle somebody drives. I'm seeing Sheila, like spelled S-I-L-E. I believe that's the spelling. Yeah. One of the spellings anyways. Aria. I'm seeing the word great. I'm also seeing Meg so, or Megan, Maggie. Jim. James. The blank could be a J. All right, I think I'm going to leave it there. So that is what I have for you, group one. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you guys all the best, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, group two, you chose the highlight. That's a serenity with the uh, Star Child Tarot. Welcome. All right, let's see. Ace of Wands. Queen of Wands. Ten of Wands. Wow. Okay. Fiery energy in this group. Or sorry. Ten of Swords. Jeez. I can't read. It's okay. <laughs> Two of Cups. Ooh. We have two cards here. We have Oppression, which is the Devil. We have the Empress. We have Taurus and Libra here. Eight of Crystals. And Awakening, Judgment, Scorpio. Okay. Nine of Wands on the bottom here. Okay, I feel like there's been a lot of um, challenges in this connection. 
So this might be somebody you're in like a no contact situation, um, or it uh, could be situationship, uh, situation, or there's been, there has been what seems like a painful ending here. Someone in this connection's becoming aware of what? Why is awakening here? Strength, Leo. Okay, I believe your person's um, aware of in what ways they've contributed to the demise of this connection. That sounds very dramatic, doesn't it? Well, we do have like, I would say pretty dramatic cards here. So it could have been like a very dramatic theatrical ending. Um, definitely painful for sure. And I feel like your person has had, yeah, some pride. Pride getting in the way. Clarify the Ten of Swords. What caused this painful ending? The universe. Which is the world. It's not saying the universe caused this painful ending. Unless you do, I mean, some people do believe, you know, the, the universe, you know, rejection is uh, God's protection. Or, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a quote, that saying. Okay. So, yeah, this is definitely saying, like, there's this completion of a cycle between the two. So, this could have been, like, a repetitive cycle that the two of you have been in like a lot of drama a lot of chaos here uh very unhealthy with the the devil and i do see an opportunity for awareness and growing i feel like on both ends like i feel like you guys also have learned something through this experience so I feel like I'm not entirely sure like if you're wanting to move forward with this person for some of you you may just be looking for closure in this uh, group but we'll see I feel like what started out as a beautiful connection turned um, sour or turned very unhealthy could have been like um we'll see why is why is the devil here Three of Crystals. Okay, so there may have been cheating. With the King of Cups. This person could have been playing two, two people, you and somebody else. I'm promising the world to both. So if that sounds like your situation, this could be your group. I would say it probably is. You know, take that part and my heart goes out to you because that is painful. I feel like you guys have done a lot of work on yourselves. Like it's taken some time to really build your confidence. And I do see you guys stepping into that beautiful Empress energy. I also feel like, um, yeah, it feels like this person may have taken advantage of you in this connection, like taken advantage of your, of your kindness, of your generosity, um, your generous spirit. And it feels like they may be, um, receiving some sort of karma. Which that might be an interesting reading. Like, what is their karma for hurting you like that? Anyways, <laughs> let me know if you're interested in seeing that type of reading. What is their karma for, you know, doing you dirty or hurting you? 
Okay, so how is this person feeling currently about my group twos? We have the seven of wands. Okay, they're defensive. The lovers with Gemini. Five of Swords, conflicted. The Emperor, Aries. All right, why is Lovers here? Page of Wands. Okay, they feel like they want to reach out here, but conflicted, stubborn. I want to get, yeah, we're definitely going to have to see this person's intentions for sure. Six of Cups. Okay, so they're missing you. They're thinking of you. That's why they're missing you. They're missing the good times, like the two of the beautiful energy. All right. So What are their intentions with my group twos? What are their intentions? With the seven of crystals, six of crystals, nine of crystals, star seed, which is the fool. Let's get one more. What are their intentions? The star. Okay, we have Aquarius twice here. Um. I get a very independent energy here. Very carefree. And I feel like, okay, it feels like, honestly, so that this person with their intentions right now are not non-committal now that could be a good thing for some of you maybe you're not looking for a commitment um so again take it if it resonates those of you looking for commitment i feel like this person's not the right energy even though it says six of crystals they may be like wanting to compromise with you in some way when it comes to this connection um they are hopeful for a new beginning, like to be able to come back around. But with the seven of crystals here, this is waiting. So why is the seven of crystals here? You could have been waiting for an apology from this person. And I feel like they have, at the very least owe you that. Justice. Yeah, I feel like you're waiting for the truth. You're waiting for you're waiting for answers. They know that you've been waiting. Um, we have Libra here for them to come and make this right. So it feels like they're the ones that screwed up. Now again, like going back, I feel like we did see that for some of you, this person may there there's another person involved, and again for some of you. Maybe you're not into monogamous relationships. So I feel like, I, well, 
I guess you can still cheat in those dynamics, right? Like if they're not, if there's, if it's not uh, built on trust and, you know, openness, communication and honesty. Um, either way, I feel like no matter what the dynamic, monogamous or poly, doesn't matter. I feel like some sort of trust was broken. There were lies, there were secrets. And I feel like someone here was, I feel like you guys were getting played. Or you felt like you were getting played. Like this person wasn't very um, forthcoming with certain information involving other people. Other parties. And it feels like this person's still wanting to keep it open. Now again, yeah, I'm getting like strong, like just, you know, out there having fun. Which, like I said, isn't necessarily a bad thing. But if you're looking for like commitment, I feel like this is not your group. Um, definitely check out one. I would say check out three, but I haven't done three yet. So, but you could still check it out. Um, yeah. So this may even be like an open relationship or poly, uh, relationship dynamic here. Could be. Now, again, I'm not like entirely familiar so, <laughs> with that, uh, with that dynamic. So, but I mean, it kind of feels like a good fit for some of you. That maybe resonate with that. But they are, like I said, they are hoping for a new beginning with you. And it feels very, like they still want their independence. Which, I mean, everyone should have their independence no matter what, even in a committed relationship. But this feels more like they don't want to settle down and commit and this could be, again, based on right now. Maybe they're just not ready to have that conversation. Things can change in the future, right? But their intentions at this moment right now are is to be, remain open. Okay, we have lessons. So, yeah, it's definitely a lot of lessons on both ends. Fear. Okay, so lessons from the past. There's been a lot of fear in the past. I'm seeing, like, a lot of black and white here. On the bottom here, we have spiritual awakening. So I feel like your person may have had, well, I feel like you guys have definitely had some sort of spiritual awakening through this experience. I feel like you've definitely learned lessons. Um, you guys are most definitely coming out stronger through this experience. And yeah, it's, I want to clarify fear though. Why, why is fear here? Four of Cups. Fear of rejection. So. Oh, transformation. We have death. Scorpio. I feel it. And then on the bottom here we have the chariot. Okay. So you guys are like. Facing your fears of rejection. Facing your fears of abandonment. You guys are like. Um, really in this very beautiful. Transformative uh, energy. Yeah, you guys are definitely moving forward. With or without with or without this person, I feel like you guys are good. You've learned your lessons or you're still learning. But yeah, it feels like you guys, even if you chose not to have this person in your life, I feel like you guys are going to be successful and happy. All right, so I'm going to shuffle your message cards and I will be right back. Okay. I see a future with you. Okay, so like I said, yeah, they're hopeful here. I have never felt this comfortable around anyone else. And that could be why they're thinking of you, why they're missing you. Especially you guys coming through as uh, generous and loving. We have long distance relationship. This could have been a long distance thing. I was can completely... <laughs> <laughs> can't talk completely convinced I had lost you you mean the world to me yeah they may have actually realized how much they messed up here um, which if they treated you horribly they really need to make it up to you there's a big decision that I need to make give me time we're going to see what that's about will you marry me
I find different ways to flirt with you and touch you. I forgive you. I hope, I, sorry, I feel like they're hoping for you to say that to them. Maybe you have, like, maybe you've been like, you know what, I forgive you, but what's done is done and we're not continuing this. And again, you know, that's okay. You're on my mind all day. I'm sending my love. They think you're cute. You belong with me. So they may be realizing here that then we have avoidant attachment. So this person has avoidant attachment. Okay, what is this big decision? I feel like these are like all, depending on your mindset, it could be excuses to get back with you or it could be like one heck of an apology. But of course, you know, use your discernment, always follow your inner guidance and well, I mean, you, of course, we're all adults here, so I mean, you're gonna, you're obviously going to do what you feel guided to do and what you want to do, but, you know, don't settle for anything less than you deserve. And I feel like you guys know your worth, your value here, because I am picking up with that Empress and the Queen of Wands. I feel like you've guys, you guys have done a lot of work on yourselves. So, you know, don't let this person tear you down again. You know, make them prove it to you. We have the Queen of Swords. Ten of Wands. Nine of Crystals. Let's get one more. Nine of Swords. Okay, so they're definitely stressing about this. It's uh, been weighing on. I feel like they've been thinking about it a lot. So, with the Queen of Swords, they're worried that you're going to be, you know, a little harsh, which, understandable. Um, yeah, they know that they need to, they need to have a plan here. And I feel like before they come rushing towards you or reach out to you they need to have a plan like they need to think this through if they are serious about having a future with you See, okay, so we saw what is their next move? What is their next move towards group two? Page of Cups and Apology. On the bottom here we have Serenity. Maybe Oh! Holy shit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we have serenity there and then serenity here. Wow, that's a uh, confirmation. We have the hermit card. Okay, yeah, so they are really needing to go within. I feel like you guys will know. I feel like this is also confirmation. You've done your inner work. You'll know if they mean this apology or not. So, yeah. Um I feel like they need to prove to you by doing their inner work that they are worthy of this connection. Like if they've really messed up here. All right. Well, that was like, that was perfect. <laughs> All right. Okay. So we have uh, Capricorn. Third house Gemini, we have eighth house Scorpio, and we have Taurus.
All right, we have W, O, L, Y, I, N, H, saying holy, B, E, K, Becky, we have R, Carrie with a K, like K E R I, we have W, another W, I'm seeing wow, E, Kylie, Kyle, A, I'm also seeing the word liar. So yeah, they may have withheld information from you. I'm seeing the name Lee, and also we have a blank tile there. Someone's last name might be Beers. I'm also getting Skyler, someone's name, Skyler, Sky, Kira, Kieran, Yaris, All right, I think I'm going to need, oh, I'm also seeing Beth. Okay, so that is what I have for you, group two. Thank you so much for watching. I'm wishing you guys all the best and sending you so much love. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, group three, you chose the dog tarot with the rose quartz that says desire. Welcome. All right, let's see what is going on or what happened. What's the story? Starting out with the chariot, little doggo going for a car ride. We have Cancer with the High Priestess, Pisces. So a lot of um, strong water coming through. The Magician, wow, um, Gemini and Virgo, connected to Mercury. We're still in Mercury retrograde, right? We also have the Devil, wow. Um, definitely a significant connection here. There's been, it's been quite a ride. The Capricorn with the Devil. The Fool. We have Aquarius. The Nine of Cups. Page of Cups. Wow, there's a lot of emotions here. And the Moon. With Pisces again. Strong water energy coming through. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. On the bottom here, we have the Hanged Man, uh, which is also Pisces. So, so there could be like a Pisces uh, stellium or 12th house stellium. Okay. So we only have two minor arcana, as you can see. This is a very, very significant connection. Um, I feel like both of you feel this intuitively. I feel like this is strong spiritual connection as well here. It definitely feels like playful and happy. The only like heavier card, which I guess, you know, could be the moon, but is the devil. Overall, it's like pretty exciting. There's a lot going on. Uh, I feel like you, the two of you connect, like definitely energetically, you connect um, within dreams. I feel like you've been having dreams of each other. There's like, yeah, very strong emotions here. Oh. 
And I love that you guys also chose the rose quartz as well. And plus the dog tarot. Dog puppies are like, you know, happy and playful. Why is the devil here? The queen of wands. Okay, let's get further. Okay, we have the two of wands. Okay, so I feel like this person has wanted you for a while now. Strong attraction. Strength. Yeah, they've been holding back. We have Leo. Okay. Yeah, this person has been wanting you for a while. I also feel like um, one of the lessons, one of the challenges that the two of you could be working through is, um, you know, facing your fear fears, building up your self-confidence with the Queen of Wands. Building that spiritual strength, that inner strength. You've made the decision to not sit in fear and not um, allow, you know, living, limiting beliefs um, or fears to hold you back. You've definitely, you're ready to tap into your, your potential. So that's a, that's a little side message here. And I feel like you're also like, I feel like the two of you are supporting each other on this journey. Uh, whether or not you're actually together, um, this is definitely happening happening on a spiritual level, for sure. On a soul level. Why is the moon here? The hermit. Yeah, there's um, a lot. This is definitely an inner journey with this person. This is like spiritual awakening, soul connection. You're definitely meant to learn and grow uh, in this connection with this person. It is not, it absolutely is not a, an accident. It's not a mistake that you met this person. They're here to teach you something and you're also here to teach them something as well. Okay, so let's see how they're feeling about you. How are they feeling about my group threes? We have the Empress. So we have Libra and Taurus. Seven of Cups. The Hangman. Like I said, Pisces. The Knight of Swords. Okay, so this person's doing a lot of daydreaming, a lot of thinking about you, a lot of wishing. Three of Cups. Three of Swords. Four of Four of Swords. Okay, I do see progression here. Three of Swords to the Four of Swords. So definitely been healing. And we have the Page of Wands. Okay, yeah, they absolutely thinking about you. They want to talk to you. They We have the world on the bottom here. Could be long distance. What's the three of swords here? Aw, the lovers. Aw. Look at that. It's such a sweet card. I'm sorry. I'm gushing over the dogs. <laughs> Aww. Okay, we had Gemini with the lovers. And it's definitely what I was thinking. I was, before I clarified, I was going to say I'm picking up on that they see the way they feel about you is you could easily break their heart. They see you as having that effect on them. And then we pull the lovers. So 
if you have experienced some sort of separation with this person or even like being long distance or having just like a, a energetic connection with this person, it does affect them on an emotional level. They do grieve. And I feel like they do. Um, it hasn't stopped them. It hasn't entirely slowed them down. But they do have periods where they feel sad over this connection. And you definitely have a, a very strong effect on them. For sure. Like all the major arcana that we had. You're a significant part of this person's life. Whether you're aware of it or not. And I feel like a lot of you probably are aware. You may be questioning or doubting your intuition. But um, yeah, your intuition is not wrong. You're on the right track. So absolutely follow that. Okay, so what are their intentions with my, what are their intentions with my group threes? Ace of Swords. Nine, nine of Cups. It didn't. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I messed up on the bottom there. With the Four of Cups. With the Nine of Cups. Okay. Six of Cups, Justice, Five of Wands. Okay, their intention is to tell you the truth, to tell you they've, one, they're missing you. They do, I feel like this truth could have to do with the significance of this connection. I feel like with the Six of Cups, this talks about um, soul connections, past lives, soulmates. And I feel like this is what this person wants to tell you. Like, they definitely have this awareness. They understand what this connection means. Um... And they're feeling very excited. They're feeling very happy, very content here. So let's clarify. But I want to clarify, why is the Five of Wands here? We have the Nine of Swords. Hold on, is that the Nine... Yeah, that's the nine. So it looks like, sometimes it looks like the X, the V's and X are, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's the nine of wands. Nine of wands. All right, so <laughs> uh, this journey with you has definitely been um, a challenging one. Um... They've healed a lot, actually. Queen of Cups. Now, like I said, this person has wanted you for a while. Um, they're ready to express that. They feel emotionally connected to you. Clarify Justice, the Emperor, Aries. Yeah, they want to make a move. Their intentions to make a move, to step into that divine energy. Uh, the Emperor does represent divine masculine or masculine energy. Uh, masculine energy is about taking action. So yeah, they their intentions are to take action towards you. Clarify Ace of Swords. K 
King of Pentacles. With the Queen of Swords. Okay, yeah, they're they're aware of the work that the two of you have done. Ooh, on the bottom here with the Ace of Wands, yeah, new beginning. They're very serious about this clarity that they want to share with you, this epiphany that they've had. But to be honest with the King of Pentacles here, I feel like they've, they've sensed it, like they've known for a while. They've just been holding back. All right, let's see what else. We have temptation, divine guidance, and we have leadership on the bottom here. Okay, what is this temptation about? I like we how we have one that's very like intuitive, like inner connection, and then the other one's like ego based. So I feel like that pretty much sums up the connection between the two of you. So let's see, why is, uh, what is this temptation? Okay, let me make sure this is the right number. Okay, we have the four of wands, which we do see four, four sticks there. That could be 11, 11, and we have temperance. Sagittarius. Okay, so I feel like the two of you have been tempted to, you know, occasionally um, kind of stray off your path. But honestly, I feel like the two of you have always um, gone back to your inner guidance or followed divine guidance, followed the signs and synchronicities. Clarify divine guidance. The tower. Yeah. Um, your spirit guides. It, yeah. And we have the wheel of fortune here. Your spirit guides, uh, angels, ancestors, whoever you believe in has always been there for you guys in your darkest moments. And I feel like, honestly, um, it's one perspective. I really don't see that we can really stray off our path um, because he could always make, make the choice to go back on, like choose to change your, you, choose to change your mind. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like there's really no wrong path unless you completely give up on yourself, which I feel like that is obviously not the case here. Um, but there's always like a lesson to learn, right? So there's always an opportunity to grow, even if it feels like even if you are tempted to stray off your path and go in a different direction, I, you always have the choice to, you know, start again or return to the path you were on. So I feel like you never really lose that because it, it's all within, it's all within anyways. Right. So, um, and that could be part of like the temptation was someone may have put fear 
in your mind or maybe you're scared that you know if you choose something else it's going to mess up your journey somehow which I feel like that these cards are saying no that's not the case you know the divine divine guidance always comes from within yes you can see signs and synchronicities but it is all within like you're never losing that it's within you it is you it's part of you you are divinity so i feel like that here is the message We have Aries and Scorpio with the tower as well. So like I said, absolutely a significant connection. No doubt about it. Especially all the major arcana. We have temptation. We have divine guidance like sh shadow and light or, you know, um, ego and soul. It feels like, yeah, this is definitely like a spiritual growth group. <laughs> and like I said, it's not just one of you. It's not just you guys having this experience. It's them too. So it's not, it's not one-sided. Both of you are do, um, doing some soul growth. All right, so I'm going to quickly pause and shuffle out your message cards, and I will be right back. All righty, let's see. I haven't forgotten you. You brighten up my day. Oh, that's so sweet. You are handsome or beautiful slash handsome. Forbidden love. Um, someone may have told you it's forbidden. That could be the temptation. Maybe uh, this could be like a religious or spiritual um, beliefs or, you know, family, family beliefs. Maybe um, saying that this isn't the person you should be with. But again, you are divinity. You are divine. Your, your soul, your source. So... It's within all of us. Um, you do have the power to choose for yourself. Love at first sight. So if anyone is, you know, trying to make you feel bad for wanting this connection or, you know, or if it's just like your own internal thoughts, because, you know, our thoughts like to do that. Um, just know that it's fears. Sorry, my eyes keep watering today. So it was love at first sight here. Yeah, we have soul connection. I'm ready to take the next step. Do you get nervous too? Oh, that's cute. I've been cheated on before, so could be fears of that. We have more than friends, so I definitely feel like more than friends with you. Are you seeing anyone? I've tried to numb out the pain. Commitment scares me a little. I'm not looking for something serious. So maybe some of you aren't looking for anything serious right now, or that could have been um, one of the challenges in this connection. You know, one of the lessons. And we have, I am manifesting you. And that goes back to like the temptation and the divine. And actually someone asked me in my post earlier about, you know, what if you, you both run in the connection. So if you're in a dynamic where it's like hot and cold and you both run, the reason why inconsistency happens uh, when manifesting a specific person or manifesting anything really is um, wavering so it takes it mostly takes like the decision to be um, who you are like choose I, I'm 
I definitely <laughs> described this better in my response to the post. I'm like completely botching this. <laughs> Let me gather my thoughts. Okay. So you return to the decision of who you are and, you know, what your end goal is with whatever it is specific person, money, job, it doesn't matter. So, like I said, inconsistency and hot and cold happens when, well, when we aren't being consistent, when we aren't, um, what's the word? See, I'm, I'm doing a terrible job at this, <laughs> describing this right now. <laughs> uh, when we aren't persisting. So it could be like, you know, you could be doing affirmations. You could be like um, stepping into your power, being like, yeah, I know who I am. You know, I'm worthy of this. I'm deserving, yada, yada, whatever it is, your affirmations. And then two days later, you go back to the old story or you go back to the old beliefs, the old self. And then the next day, you're all pumped again and you're doing your affirmations and then something happens that's unfavorable and you fall back into the old story. You fall back into the old beliefs again or you allow the fears to just run uh, rampant in your mind because that is, you know, the version you're used to, right? You're, you're breaking a cycle, you're breaking a habit, you're breaking out of the old beliefs, the old story, you're creating a new version, a new story. Creation is actually finished. So you're just choosing to be that version who has whatever it is that you're trying to manifest. There, <laughs> There's definitely like many like theories um, or experiences of how someone would explain it. But Obviously, as you can see, I did quite a, kind of a horrible job there. Uh, <laughs> it happens, but um, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's basically inconsistency happens outwards, externally, because we're inconsistent internally. That was probably a lot better to describe it. So, you know, just um, stay persistent and when the scary thoughts come up or the old story or the ego and saying, well, what if it takes persisting in affirmations and choosing to be that new self, the version of you that has whatever you're manifesting. And what you are seeking is seeking you. What you desire desires you. And you can't mess it up, even if you do waver. Even if you're constantly going back and forth and that's what you're experiencing. You always have the power to choose. You cannot screw it up. And again, that's with anything. That's not just with a specific person. That's anything. And it is okay. You know, I would say don't beat yourself up if you do waver. If you do you know, slip back into the old thoughts. Allow yourself to feel your feelings, feel whatever it is that's coming up. Have a good cry if you need to, and then get back to choosing new self. Choosing who you truly are. All right. So we have Aries, we have 11th house Aquarius, we have Aries again, and 7th house Libra. Neo with N S O Sun. Maybe someone has a sun or 
sons, two boys. We have A, U, B, A, saying boss, N, N, E, E, tons of E's, <laughs> another E, A, banana, <laughs> I think we're missing an A, and F, bananas, the shit is bananas. All right, what else? SOS uh, by Rihanna. Getting like a lot of like <laughs> early 2000s songs. Uh, SOS by Rihanna. We have um, Hollaback Girl, Gwen Stefani. All right, so, oh, I'm seeing Anne or Anna. B, Beatrice. Someone is close with their grandmother or Nana. Ben, seeing Bean, Someone, someone's nickname is Bean. All right, I think I'm gonna leave it there. Oh, I'm also seeing Abe. Okay, so that is what I have for you, group three. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'm wishing you guys all the best and thank you for you know, if you stuck around for me to completely botch my explanation on <laughs> manifestation, thank you. <laughs> I'm sending you guys so much love and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.